Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Doreen and on this video of German and African literature and culture, I'll be telling you the food culture of Nigerian students, mostly the eastern part of the country. Nigeria has different tribes with different diversity in culture and also the food they eat in different areas like the north the south the eastern part the western part might not really be the same so i'm only talking about the eastern part and also the general foods that they eat in nigeria i'm going to break the foods that i'm talking about today into what one can take as breakfast that's fresh duke lunch that's mitagasin then dinner that's abent person some technologies that has to do with uh but if you go to the restaurant they can give you what you call the spicer cutter is the menu the white people they normally eat in a certain manner in the sense that they will have to take appetizer first they will not take the main course or main meal or main dish before they will not take dessert. In Nigeria, people mostly like to go straight to what they have as the main meal and maybe later take something as dessert if they want. It's not compulsory here. For the Germans, the appetizer can be called the four spicy. That's for gerichte, the aperitif, a kind of an alcoholic drink that one can take before meal to enhance on the appetite and also you can call it hot dove. The main meal is called das hot gerich or the hot spice. Now the dessert can be called the anaktisch, süß spice, dessert or nach spice. Accusative case is a direct object of a sentence. That is to say, someone is performing an action, another person is receiving an action. Now, you know that Germans have four cases, nominative case, and the nominative case is simply the main case of a word or a noun, and it is the subject of the sentence. That is to say, the person that is performing the action in a sentence. So I'm going to be giving you the nominative and show you how they can change into the accusative as the direct object remember the nominative case is determined by the verbs like sein verb to be and the verb then, verb to become indefinite article to be ein eine and ein so you have that for the masculine feminine and neutral and then for the definite article the masculine is dear the feminine is the, the neutral is that, and it has a plural, which is the. Meanwhile, there's no plural for ein and the eine. That is say, to say, no plural for a and I. Okay, if you say some, that means some other ones are ex excluded. So the plural of a and an is not some. There is no plural for a and an. In the accusative, the masculine gender for the indefinite article changes from ein to einen. Bear in mind that it is only in the accusative that the masculine gender will automatically change alone based on what you have before because other ones will remain the same as they are in the nominative. So the masculine gender will change from I to einen. The feminine will remain like that. Eine, eine. The neutral will remain like that. I and I. No plural. Likewise, in the definite article, the masculine is also the only one that will change. It will carry N instead of R. So here, the masculine will change from dear in the nominative to then in the accusative. Why the feminine and the neutral plus plural remains the same? So you have the feminine as D, it remains D in the accusative. Neutral as das, it remains das in the accusative. And also the plural, which is D, remains D in the accusative. Accusative is something that is concrete, something you can feel and touch. For example, you are performing an action and this action is something you can feel or touch. It is concrete. For example, let me say you are eating food. You that is eating the food, you put yourself in the nominative because you are the performer of the action of eating food. The food you are eating, you will have to put in the accusative based on the gender of the food. Remember, the masculine will change to einen or them. Okay, and now let's look at some verbs that denote accusative because there are some verbs you will use in making sentences. It will require a direct object, you and what you are doing. So it will require you using a direct object. Because we are talking about food culture today, we are going to be looking into words that have to do with food. For example, essen, verb to eat, trinken, verb to drink, 
nehmen, verb to take, bekommen, verb to get, you have bezahlen, verb to pay, for example, if you're in a restaurant, bestellen, verb, verb to order. You can make some sentences with it. You can see how the nouns are changing from nominative and then into the accusative. France is einen Hamburger. That is to say, Frank is eating a hamburger. So hamburger is a masculine and so I said Aiden Hamburger. Franz is the performer of this action. Ich esse ein Eis. I am eating an ice cream or ice. You can see that ice is that ice, so I to remain ein in the accusative case because it doesn't change. Die Frau nimmt eine Milch. Woman is taking a milk. Look, it's feminine, so I would say eine Milch. Ich esse einen Teller Rice. I'm eating a plate of rice that's mineral versa anything you are eating of course you have to order water with it okay so most times when people want to make a sentence to say they are thirsty they need water they will always say ich bin dust know the difference you use the verb haben to say ich habe dust and you use the verb sign to say ich bin drostig if you're hungry you can say ich habe hunger from using the verb haben or you can use the verb sign to say it's been hungry food that we can take as breakfast that's fresh took for the breakfast nigerian students don't really take so much for breakfast they normally take more of beverages okay which is that's get drink in nigeria most students do 001 or 010 or 100 i don't want my students to have that situation where you get what you call madam geshevoa that is also because you are not feeding well. So you have to feed well and you have to feed correctly. So we take most beverages like their cacao, mostly milo in Nigeria. They drink milo with two cards, sugar and milk, the milk. If you are up to 18 years, you are not supposed to be taking milo anymore. Yeah, because you might get sickness like fibroid and cyst or you can take milo once in a while. But not make it as is your daily morning meal. So you can take their grown tea or their shivatsa tea, any of them black tea. Each student normally take um, tea with a uh, broth, that's broth, that's uh, bread. And some of them take it with their cakes, which is biscuits. If you are living in Osaka, people normally take um, bambara, nuse, ure, this is like opa. Some students are here, they take it with tea too. And you can buy it around 100 naira or around 200 naira. Some of the students like to take uh, custard in the morning. But mostly I advise that pap and custard should be taken at night because it makes you feel like sleeping. Pap is like a pudding made of corn. Custard, aya creme or vanilla sauce. Mostly taken with akara. The bratine bowl and bowl boat or the bottom. Okay, we see some people also use cakes to people also take this pap and custard with uh, cool banana, they use a banana, plantain banana, that's plantain. Some people like plant their plantain being fried. Other verbs that I might be using to describe some foods so that you don't get confused, roasting or get roasted. That Roasted, braten or gebraten, roasted or fried, cocon or the gecocked, cook, bacon, bake. That's half a meal, that is oats, or meat honey, if you want, you can use honey for it. That's pigarai, egg, or that, that's omelette, toast boat, that is toasted bread, coffee with that's pancake, a sandwich. I advise to them not to take coffee because of the caffeine. They are coffee. Check if your routine is going to be very hectic. You can then take a little coffee. You can be agile during the day. They are tea boiled with toast boat. That's the tea bag. You can take it with a uh, toasted bread. Most times we have our bread with the marmelade or the butter. We use butter or marmalade or jam. That's me targeting. It's easy to me talk to say that I am eating my lunch. You can as well say it's name it. That's fresh too. I'm taking breakfast. Most Nigerians then like eating for lunch. Their rice with their salsa. That is rice and stew. You can have the normal fried tomato uh, sauce, or you can have the one called banga soup. It's made from palm. Um, you might be conversant with Nigerian jollof rice. It's bone and bone and it's beans. Beans as either porridge or they cook it 
as like that so that they can eat it with rice or they can eat it with yam vutsel. Yam vutsel is yam beans with pap. Okay. Mostly in the night it's like a dinner food because if you take it in the afternoon you will fall asleep with moi moi. Moi moi is house boring. It's from beans and it's like born in puree. The hot meat, gemuse, banane, Fully wrapped in a plantain leaf and it is cooked very delicious. Yam vutsel. When I talk about yam vutsel, I mean yam. They can eat it with sauce, aya sauce, egg sauce, gemuse sauce, vegetable sauce, egg salad, porridge. One can eat it with oil, yam and oil. Very sweet. There's something that Nigerians call swallow. By the way, the word for swallow in German is like schluken, fish schluken, okay, to swallow. So if you buy swallow like fufu you might have heard of the famous nigerian fufu for i'm just showing for those that are not nigerians that are watching this video this is what you call curry it's one of the favorite things that nigerians like to eat so semolina is like their grease and it's also made of yam vutsa made in a fufu form and you can use it to eat soups like gemuse zupe melone zupe obono zupe it's better to cook in a big quantity and store in the freezer if you have saved time you have saved the energy to cook another food we can even cook different soups and put students also eat a uh, gemuse banana a plantain banana that is plantain okay sometimes they buy the one they call bole the bole plantain is like a roasted tail gemuse banana that they eat gemished meat uh, rot oil that is a red oil zea leka very delicious Cocoa yam vutsal, that is cocoa yam with hot oil, with red oil. Okay, oil is that's that's oil. Beans with bread, they call it B and B, or they can take it with gari. You know, they soak gari and drink it with hot beans, which is sweet. If you are residing in this in Soka, they sell some things like they call it ayaraya. They have the one is that's ayaraya with cocoa yam with yam. I hope I'm calling it too. I have the one that is a ayarayoka. The one is with corn. So you can buy them for like 200 naira a plate or 300 naira. Henshin on pomfrets, chicken and chips, meat sauce or the ketchup, boiled potatoes, that is the kartoffel, the cocktail kartoffel or the brat kartoffel, roasted one or fried one. With oil, you can make potato porridge with vegetable, so with sauce, spaghetti, meat, get drink like uh, alcohol fryers, get drink that is soft drink with aya, that's egg. Some will prefer to smoke gari with granite, that is egg nuts, uh, untuka, coconut, that's coconut. Better tried with uh, milk as abent, as a which essay to abent, that is to say you are eating your dinner. Oats, half a meal, perhaps to mix it with the one they call dawa dawa it's more healthy the noodles the noodle with aya with eggs and veggies plantain maybe ripe plantain fried one remember that that's fresh to it's supposed to be light lunch you can eat heavy dinner you have to eat very light so they don't have shlaf store that is the place night shawarma or pizza toast boards with aya you can take toasted bread with maybe egg sauce or with fried egg kagidi meat uh, sauce that, that is agidi is like corn puree agidi gel of their salad oops salad that is fruit salad as their breakfast corn flakes as dinner golden morn why some people use it as their breakfast okay or mostly manioc flakes that something like a butter can take the abata and for dinner potato chips and veggies or ketchup so that will be pump fritters with ketchup or the meat game user broad fruit that is a bread fruit opa yogurt or fan kuchen donut bagel or pancake so get drinking most students like drinking alcohol fryers get drink that is a soft drink but I'm advising you to stop drinking things like cola, that is Coke, or Fanta Sprite. It's better you drink things like Zobo, soya milk, yogurt, ample milk, and uh, zaft, that is grapefruit um, juice, and then citrus, calcium, get drink. I just put it inside water. This one is actually a German product. Sour sap juice, pineapple drink, ananas, get drink, uh, apple zaft apple juice the vine which is the wine oats and gemuse the apple the orange the papaya i bought 
digoke, ukumba, ebana, divasa melone, watermelon, the mango. Lime is called the limit or the lemonel. The ananas, ananas are pineapple, healthy living, snack or nuts like cocos nuts, that's coconut, va nuts, that's walnut, the mandel. That is the uh, almonds, the cashew nuts, uh, egg nuts, uh, or not. the carrot, uh, carrots, the avocado. Do not forget to put some things in your food, like the knob laush, garlic, the to be bell onions, laush to be bell spring onions, vice cool, cabbage, the grunen bonen, green beans, the rotted butter, that is a bit. Essence conservation, that is food preservation. Who have a uh, bitter leaf in their homes, you can wash it, squeeze it, whatever, and dry it. It's already dry season, and anytime you come, you can put it in nylon. It can stay for long. You can be collecting it small, 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 and be cooking. I also heard that vegetable leaves like okase and the second as well be preserved in such in such a manner if you go to market every saturday you see yourself spending up to ten thousand plus or even fifteen or twenty thousand so the idea is for you to save more money and save more energy and time don't neglect the power of stockfish there are some stockfish that they sell for two two hundred naira you can buy like two thousand naira on you'll be using it to cook every time you must not eat meat okay anyway meat is called that's flesh it tastes like chicken or ordinary meat you can fry them so that you can be putting them in your food as protein or dry fish if you can come with them sometimes mothers will give you these things at home crayfish is called if you buy fresh tomatoes you can grind them cook them and store them in bottles you can even make popcorn by yourself you know you can buy a popcorn of 1000 and then you make it at home if you people have plantain at home make the plantain chips at home and carry them some people they have a lot of potatoes that's kartoffel you can make kartoffel chips meanwhile chips is called hack schnitzel buy grand coco yam Coco yam sachets for thickening of soup. I buy the one of 1000 and be using it slowly. Okay, that is salt. Curry pulfa, if you can buy the one that is like it, it might serve you to out. Dried breadfruit, sardine, the dozen fish, aya kiss, that's crate of egg. If you or you can buy a half crate. I've come to the end of this video, so please remember to like, subscribe. Tell me what you eat in afternoon, lunch, and dinner. That's SNZ to meters to urban cheese.